can be so goddamn hard. Looking in the mirror can be so goddamn hard. Looking in the mirror can tear you down. All the voices they scream so loud. All the voices they scream so loud. All the voices they beat on the crowd. What do you do when you don't know what to do? And you don't know what to do I try to scream but it don't make a sound I try to scream but it don't make a sound I try to scream, nothing comes from my mouth Weight on my chest, it's caving in Weight on my chest, it's caving in And weight on my chest, it's gonna tear me apart You don't know what to do What do you do when you don't know what to do Don't get lost in the dark Don't get lost in the dark Don't forget who you are Forget who you are Find your comfort in the little things Find your comfort in the little things Find your comfort any way you can Light a spark and ignite the flame Light a spark and ignite the flame Light a spark and let it burn your soul You don't know what to do What do you do when you don't know what to do Don't get lost in the dark Don't get lost in the dark Don't forget who you are Don't forget who you are Don't give up when you don't know what to do Don't give up when you don't know what to do Well, start over anew. Got some scars that I can't fix. I got some problems I can't get rid. Got some scars that I can't fix. I got some problems I can't get rid. But wait, don't mean to overcomplicate. But wait, don't mean to overcomplicate. My life just turned out that way. Sometimes things are a wreck, you can't predict what might happen next Sometimes things are a wreck, you can't predict what might happen next I wish I could take away all of the pain I wish I could take away all of your pain And make sure it don't happen again I wish I could take away all of the pain I wish I could take away all of your pain I wish I could take away all of the pain I wish I could take away all of your pain And make it never happen again Hey, what's up? It's Renegade. Thanks for tuning in to The Traveling Mic.
One of my first favorite bands was definitely Blink-182. My brother introduced me to music a lot when I was a kid, and I just got so stoked about how angry they were and how passionate they were about everything. And I grew up in a Christian home, so I loved that they said bad words, and I was listening to stuff I wasn't supposed to. So that was a big, big influence of mine. Uh, bands that I'm listening to right now, I really like Peachtree Rascals. Um, very danceable great music. Uh, I really have been listening to Mother Falcon a lot and going to a lot of their shows recently. Um, Asa Martin is one of my favorite artists that's out there as well. Um, there's also Truck Bed Boys in Washington, Dirt Cheap in Boise, Idaho. Pretty much I like listening to my friend's music and just hanging out. <laughs> I think all my favorite summers were probably the summers that I got to tour. I got to meet friends. I got to see new bands play, um, traveling around, being in a van, seeing new places, being in a different place every day, waking up to new environments, taking my dog with me. So I just say all the summers I got to tour, I feel really lucky. Um, of all my tattoos, I really like my forearm. I think it turned out really neat. It's quite a few sessions to make it what it is today. And yeah, I really like it. Um, my forehead is my other favorite. I like that one a lot too. My friend in Australia has a company called Hag Club and she designs tattoos for you. Um, so she does commissions for tattoo designs and she designed the one on my forehead and I really like how it turned out. I feel real grateful. This is really kind of random, but there's these, it's a baseball field now. It's called Chisholm Fields. And behind them, there's some, some walking trails. And I've been walking back there since I was a little kid. Um, I first moved to Texas in 1998 with my family and my dad would take us on hikes and stuff. And that was always my favorite place that I got to go hiking. And to this day, I still get to take my dog and we go on walks and stuff back there. So it's fun. And I figured out that I can skate on my roller skates around there too. There's a lot of trails that are perfect for it. So that's my favorite spot. Uh, my dog, her name's Luna Tuna. She's a blue nose pit bull and she's six and she's the sweetest little thing. And she has a little, it's like in the shape of a bone and it's blue and it's kind of spiky and really rubbery. And she really loves that toy the best. And it's really cute because if you're not playing with her and she wants you to, she brings her toy to you and then she'll throw it up in the air for you to show you how to throw a toy. So just, just in case you didn't know. So it's pretty adorable. <laughs> 